Here is the little badger, Jacob Rosales, born in La Habra, California, training at a CSW. Former Fight Club OC catchweight champion, fought for the LFA lightweight title against Bryce Logan a couple years back. Undefeated in Bellator, 0-2 on the Contender Series, but against some really solid names. This is, I would say, a sleeper fight, Uriah. Yeah, I mean, these guys are skilled, and, and, and this guy in particular, he's been through some big events already, and. Uh, you know, even to get that second attempt at, at the Contender Series, that says a lot about his uh, skill set, but also his performances. They don't let guys back on that show unless they're exciting, and, and he's really going to have a, uh, a new agenda, a new chip on his shor shoulder, more motivation, and uh, I love seeing fights like that. A couple slaps to the skull from the cornerman to get him in the correct mindset. Corey McKenna, he said that rest and recovery was a big focus. You know, sometimes he'd go into fights with broken arms, broken legs, just not 100%. But he says tonight, this is the best he's feeling. Yeah, I feel like most fighters, you like, especially if you're training at the level that most of us train at, you never go into a fight 100%. But I do feel like that will pay dividends in here tonight. You don't want to be fighting with broken limbs. <laughs> I can't even imagine that, Uriah. Well, I've done it. It's not the f most fun thing in the whole world. But, uh, you know, it makes for a good story. I, I, I have some pride in, in fighting with no hands. And, you know, big fight, title fights, five rounds, no big deal. No biggie for Lil Badger, Jacob Rosales his way to the cage car and whip it and make him do a full flip it's all it's a lot of fun <laughs> to watch him do his thing let's take it to the rough paper tail of the tape here kai lu 28 as is the little badger jacob rosales slight edge and experience 13 and 8 for rosales 8 and 4 for the last gladiator rosales coming in at 146 kai lu again struggling with the scale 148.4 and two inches in height to jacob rosales in this lightweight fight, we send it to Garrett Fortig to get this one underway. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to your Ryan Ferber's A1 Combat 14. Streaming live on UFC Fight Pass, we return to Los Angeles, California. Now, from the Commerce Casino, we begin our main card with three five-minute rounds in the lightweight division. Introducing first, the Ayala Morgan and Buzzard personal injury attorneys, Blue Corner. At 5 feet, 11 inches tall, his official weight, 146 pounds even. With a record of 13 wins, 8 losses, 5 wins by knockout, 2 by submission. Tonight, he makes his A1 combat debut, representing the Den Training Center. He fights out of La Habra, California, Jacob Rosales. Now introducing his opponent. Across the cage, fighting out of the Ayala Morgan Buzzard Personal Injuries Red Corner. Standing five feet, nine inches tall, weighing 148.4 pounds. His professional record stands at eight wins, four defeats, five wins by knockout, three by submission. Stepping into the A1 cage for the first time, representing Team Alpha Male from the Anhui Province, China. He now makes his home in Sacramento. California Kai, the last gladiator, Woo! Your referee, Mylon Ayers. Mylon Ayers getting the first assignment here at your eye favors, A1 Combat 14. Kai, the last gladiator, Lou, allergic to the scorecards, 100% finishing rate in his career, five knockouts, three submissions. Uriah, he knows how to get it done. Oh man, I love these guys that go in for the kill. I mean, that, that's what this should be. It should be a simulated fight to the death. And, you know, we're trying to keep this sport uh, mainstream, but let's let's keep it real simple. This is this is people trying to hurt each other. Oh wow, wow! Right away, these guys are trading. That's those are some nasty punches in the pocket. Displaying some chin, you can see Jacob Rosales in the gold and black trunks. Kai Lu in the multicolored. Corey McKenna coming over the top is Kai Lu. Yeah, I mean, we saw some uh, beautiful jabs from Rosales to start off the round. He threw a calf kick, but he did get cracked on the way out. Beautiful job to mix it up there on the level change. You know, he went, went for the leg, didn't quite get it, but he used that to set up the hands up top. But Lou is cracking him over the top. And he says that, you know, he says out of the cage, he's a gentleman, he's human, but when he gets in there, he flicks that switch. And, uh, you know, he's looking very serious in there tonight. He's already a little bit of blood on, on Kai Lou, Lou Kai here. He's, uh, I think he's bleeding from his forehead. I don't know how that happened. I mean, these guys are hidden with heavy leather close in. Uh, looks like a little split on, on the on the hairline, possibly. Whoa! Oh, big connection wow. right there from Lou. Not a great place, though. That blood's going right into the eye, Uriah. Likely a, 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 a tough spot to fight through, but Kai Lu's certainly doing it. 350 remains in round number one. Yeah, no feeling out process here for these guys. You know, Rosales is having a lot of success with that, that jab, but uh, Lou is 
cracking him over the top. I'm loving those uppercuts from him. Uh, Lou took his first shot here, and it looked like it was a, you know, kind of a half attempt. Oh, oh wow. out of range. Jacob Rosales getting some work in Uriah. Yeah, he's got a body body shot up to the head, and that was tough. Uh, Luke High is definitely game wow. for the for the for the pocket fighting, but he needs to move his head, in my opinion. I mean, he can't just be brave in there. He's got to make sure that he's being smart on top of tough. Within two minutes, the last gladiator painted red. He's wearing all that damage. Explaining the nickname, he said that he likes the idea of being the last, being the best gladiator. Here he is swinging in the pocket, Corey. Those are some nasty punches. Yeah, and he's aggressive in there, you know, but leading on what you said, he's already wiping at that eye. That's bugging him. Um, and we're looking at the two very different styles here. Rosales is very straight down the middle, and he's having a lot of success because he's beating Lou, uh, beating Lou here. Like, you know, he's straight to the mark, whereas Lou's swinging heavy over the top. So when Lou is landing, he's landing these hard shots, but the, currently he's getting picked apart by Rosales. Um, you know, it's, I mean, this is a very exciting fight. There is, like I said, no feeling out process here from both guys. Um, and some heavy shots here to start the round. That was the second time I've seen Rosales hit a body shot to the overhand. Nice little combo. And, uh, and Lou's doing a good job of hitting two and three punches in the pocket. Landing heavy, but Rosales has got a chin on him. Yeah, I love the level changes here from Rosales. As you mentioned, he's hitting, he's hitting Lou at all levels. He's landing calf kicks, he's throwing body shots, he's landing the head. He's giving him something to think about on all levels, whereas Lou's kind of just swinging those big shots. And don't get me wrong, if he lands one, I, I think it's going to be an early night for him right here. But, oh, wow, you know, another as big As I one. mentioned it. Kai Lou, go ahead. Coming off back-to-back -back first round knockout losses, Jacob Rosales maybe thinks that there is a bit of a, a game plan there that he can exploit. But Kai Lou wearing it well. Two minutes to go, big Nasty elbow. elbow. You know, you're right. When we think about the 12 years of judo experience, Olympic trained for Kai Lu, should he leverage those tools? I think he should. You know, I, I, I mean, he, we saw him do one. Oh. Oh! oh! Beautiful spin and elbow there from Rosales. Lou is hurting here. You know, he's taking a lot of damage for the, like you say, we're, we're just over halfway in this round, and he's taking a lot of damage, and he's wearing that hard. 90 seconds going round number one. The last gladiator on shaky legs. The little badger, Jacob Rosales, just hunting him down, Uriah. Man, this is a nasty fight. Both these guys have landed a bigger set. Oh! oh! Jacob Rosales trying to snuff out the last gladiator. And, and that's it. it! Wow! First round TKO for Jacob Rosales. What a finish, Uriah. Man, that was nasty. Straight punches right on the chin. And, uh, it was a battle. Rosales felt some power, stayed in the pocket, and decided this was his game. Uh, I would have loved to see Lukai do a little bit more of uh, uh, head movement, be a little bit more uh, grappling heavy, but they chose their battle, and, and Rosales went out hard. Make it four first-round TKOs in the career of the 28-year-old Jacob Rosales. Here he is, giving a little victory dance in the Commerce Casino. He's feeling it there, and, and you got to feel for his opponent. You know, it's, that's a way to go out on your sword. It's unfortunate, but uh, tonight it was Rosales' night. And he really showed some skill, some heart, and uh, delivered a nasty finish. Wow. A lot of creativity in that ending sequence, the spinning back elbow that set things up, and then just punching into the... Wow. Sat him down, finished him with a ground and pound. First round TKO, it's hard to do better than that. It really is, and I mean, you have to have a game opponent to be able to pull things off like that. Uh, Luke High was game, he was trying for the same, he was trying for the same result, and uh, sometimes you gotta, you gotta be elusive and fire back, and Rosales was the guy that was pinpoint with the finishing blows, not just in there uh, deciding to trade, he was elusive, straight punches were the difference. Jacob Rosales, Coming into this, the third professional lightweight in California out of 171 people. I know that he was 0-2 on the Contender Series, but with a performance like that, hard to imagine this guy anywhere else in the big show, Uriah. Yeah, these guys are 28, you know, at 28 years old, you have so much time. You know, I'm, I'm a guy that started fighting when I was nearly 24 and had 46 fights, fought for world championships, and, and had such a, uh, a, a long story career after that. 28, you're so young in this sport, and especially when you have that kind of steel set mentality, uh, the sky's really the limit. We send it inside to Garrett Furtick to make that first round finish official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mylon Ayers waves off the contest at three minutes, 49 seconds of the very first round. Declaring your winner by TKO, Jacob 
Rusale. Lil Badger getting it done by way of technical knockout. He's got a post fight interview with Corey McKenna. Okay, I'm here with your winner, Jacob Rosales. Jacob, that was a phenomenal striking performance there from yourself. You spoke a little bit about your game plan coming in here. Was that what you practiced with your team? Really, we wanted to wrestle him and take him down, but I just felt like the striking I was hitting him, so I figured I'd take advantage of it. Yeah, probably like you say, you look phenomenal in here. Was there anything you didn't expect coming out of here from, Ky from Kailu, or was this exactly how you saw it going? That's exactly what we thought. He was going to lunge in a lot. Um, yeah, basically exactly what we thought he was going to do. Perfect. Um, you know, was there anything you did differently in camp? Anything you felt played dividends in here, or uh, anyone you'd like to thank? Yeah, for sure. I'd like to thank Ben, my coach, since day one from the Den Training Center. Everybody in the Badger crew, I love you guys. I'd like to thank Manny Robles and everyone over at Legends Boxing. I'd like to thank Gina Roman, my wrestling coach, everyone at 10th Planet Orange, my family, and most importantly, my wife. She helped me look so much with the weight cut, the training. If it wasn't for her, hey, this would be really hard. Congratulations, that was an amazing performance. Jacob Rosales came into the Commerce Casino with one thing on the mind, a finish, and he certainly got one. What a war, though. Kai, the last gladiator, Lou, brought it until he simply couldn't anymore. The Lil Badger notching his sixth TKO in the career. And again, it's hard to imagine a guy of this caliber at any other level than the best one. We've got a little bit of feedback, apologies. But what a beautiful spinning back elbow from Rosales to set up this finishing sequence. Marching into the pocket, dropping the last gladiator, and ultimately finishing him. So many great exchanges.